Hey guys, uh, for those who don't know me, uh, my name is Adam Noviello, and uh, today in this little uh, video, I'm going to be teaching you choreography from uh, Matilda. So uh, I thought what I would do today is I would teach you all the uh, adult ensemble choreography for Revolting Children, which is sort of the kind of unofficial finale to the show. Um, uh, for those who don't know the show, uh, Revolting Children comes yet yeah, right near the end of the show and uh, it's the moment um, where the kids are uh, essentially all, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Liberate themselves from uh, Miss Trunchbull. And so Miss Trunchbull is the, the headmistress of the school and she's a, she's a bully and a very, very evil, evil woman. And uh, she taunts the kids and calls them names and is quite, quite horrible. And so in, uh, in Revolting Children, uh, it's the moment after all the kids kind of band together and support each other to uh, confront her and stand up to her for the first time. And so the number kind of represents this, um, I guess, yeah, liberation is the right word because it's the moment that I guess we see the kids and Matilda herself overcome the bully and overcome the bad guy. So the number has a, has a, has a huge sense of victory and celebration to it. Um, but I guess the whole number is about the fact that throughout the entire show, uh, Trunchbull has, you know, she calls them worms and maggots and squibs and all these horrible w names. Um, and so the kids kind of say, well, if, if overcoming you and, and being the heroes of our own story makes us, you know, naughty and revolting children, then that's what we are. So the whole number is, is like I said, it's celebratory and it's victorious, but it's also very aggressive and very grounded. Uh, and you'll see in the choreography that there's, it's quite violent also. And when they taught it to us and when they would rehearse us, it was, it was always encouraged for us to be really rough and really um, gritty and aggressive. Uh, so that's kind of what makes it fun. What I would um, say to you all is for those of you who are not, uh, who don't consider yourself strong dancers, that's actually really fine because uh, in Matilda, while there are some numbers in the show that are more technical, Revolting Children is a perfect, exa is a perfect example of why the choreo in Matilda is so genius because every single uh, step and movement shape that you make has intention behind it and has some sort of um, purpose um, for the narrative. So for those of you who don't consider yourself strong dancers, what I would say is just really focus in on the details of the things that I will give you throughout um, because, you know, I, I myself don't consider dancing as my strongest um, discipline, um, but I, di I did the show and I got the show over a lot of people who would be considered, you know, dancers because they wanted you to be an actor first. So really just hone in on those details and I will try and give you as much as I can throughout. Um, so I'll take you through it, you know, we'll go back and forth quite a lot. Um, and then what I will do is I will run it myself so you can see what it looks like. I'll also uh, hopefully try and include a video or a link so you can see what it looks like in the context of the show. Uh, and then um, you can go about uh, going over it and perfecting it yourself. So what I will say is when you do do it, uh, to use the uh, Broadway cast recording rather than West End. Uh, and in the Broadway cast recording, if you go to Revolting Children, if you start it from about a minute 40, that'll give you enough lead in to uh, do the curry right through to the end. So it's not heaps, I'm not going to teach you a lot of it. In fact, the adults aren't even in the number a lot. It's just right at the end where we all come on. Um, but like I said, really focus in on the details and on the, um, on the action and the intention behind everything I give you. Um, all right, let's have some fun. Okay, uh, so apologies that we're outside. I uh, hope there's not too much noise to interfere with us, but um, there's no room in my little apartment to do this, and my partner is upstairs uh, converting our living room into a home office, so we've got this little space out here. So uh, let's just step through the quarry. Uh, I'll teach it to you all in sort of little sections, and I'll sort of dissect it as we go and go back and forth. Uh, if at any point I'm going too fast or anything, and the beauty of these video tutorials is that you can go back and watch it again. <laughs> um, so, uh, in the song, um, again using the track from the Broadway recording from a minute 40, uh, it plays for probably about 15 20 seconds before the Cory starts. It should give you some time to sort of amp up. Uh, the lyric you're looking for at the beginning is um, it goes, the ensemble, you'll hear them singing with the kids. They say, We are revolting children living in revolting times. So children living in are the first words you're looking for. So 
Uh, again, I'm going to alter the Corey from the show because in the show, everyone kind of comes on from different um, wings and you kind of do it in a circle and somebody will face upstage and stuff. But I'm just going to teach it all to you kind of facing downstage. Also in this number, you'd be wearing your school uniform. So you would have a, a blazer on. Uh, and at one point near the end, we would be just, we're going to take our blazers off and kind of throw them in the air. Um, feel free to use a jacket if you like. Um, I just know the jackets that we used in the show were made specifically to be able to slide off really quick. Um, so I don't know if like a normal jacket would do that, but, but feel, uh, feel free to give it a go. So, uh, like I said, the words you're going to look for are, we are revolting, on the word children is when you step. So the steps are going to go, we are revolting on the spot, children living in. Right? And this is kind of like, we've all come running on stage in this massive circle. And this is kind of, they always told us this position was like, starting the fight like you know a battle position so i was like children living in so it's really deep and you play like this and you kind of throw your arms back and your chest forward and your eyes forward like this and so much of the number is like this it's really forward and aggressive and strong right so you'll hear we are revolting children that's right that's right children living in and then on revolting times you're kind of going to catch your own feet and do a big windmill sort of shape so it looks like this so you'll go children living in revolting times right and so you kind of go from battle position step on your right foot uh, children living in revolting times like this so it's kind of like one of those things like when you're about to fall out from under yourself so it's like whoo, like that cool so you'll hear we are revolting children living in revolting times Right? And again, that's all forward. This whole shape, it should like you're catching your own foot like you're about to fall over. Boom. Catch it like that. Yes, and again. So we are revolting children living in revolting times. And then on we sing, you do chop, chop. So you're gonna go this way first. Chop, chop. Right, and they always taught us that this was like you're holding a big box in your hand and you're smashing it. Bang, bang. And again, they're really sharp, and they're that whole idea again of fighting. You know, you're kind of in this battle in the whole song. So you've gone, we are revolting children living in revolting times. We sing. And so this, this shape is this, boom, boom, with your feet. So you go, break your right leg first and break your left. And you go chop, and you bring the arms over, chop. So it goes boom, boom, like that. Yeah? So from the top, you hear, we are revolting children living in revolting times, we sing. Yeah? And again, that chop chop, you'll do it again in a sec, is like bam bam, they're like fighting poses. Yes? So you've gone, uh, children living in revolting times, we sing. And then on revolting songs, you're going to do a big sort of breath with your arm like this and down, and it's going to be... You're gonna jump up and sort of catch your feet like this. So you go, we sing revolting songs. And that's just a big breath and down. And you kind of want to suspend yourself in the air if you can. You kind of want to feel this. Everything you've done already is bam, 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 bam. And this is the moment of whoosh, kaka. Yeah, so you've gone, we sing revolting songs. Yeah, and you always look up to your arm as well. You'll do the same move in a sec. So it should go bam, forward, bam. And I always used to go, wee! Like that's a moment where the kids actually have fun. So the first bits were like, ha 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 ha! And then this is, woo! Cool. Uh, from the top, so you'll hear, we are revolting children living in revolting times. We sing revolting songs. And that doesn't really, you're about to go into the next step. So as long as we see this shape in the air, woo! You can't really see that when they can you, so it's like this. Boom, boom. Okay, from here, you'll kind of land here. You're gonna step on your right leg and gather yourself up into this position. Bam! And this is hand behind your back and a big sort of strong pose. Boom! And this is like muscle. Doesn't matter if you're a girl or a boy, it's muscle, it's hero, it's power, victory, the whole vibe, yeah? So from the top, it kind of looks like this. We are revolting children living in revolting times we sing revolting songs using yeah 
On the way through with this, I forgot to say, you give your big leg a slap. So from here, you jump down, pull down, give your leg a big whack, pull. So it gives you another accent to go through. So it's, we sing revolting songs, bam, bam. And you do hold this and you're right up on your demi point, sort of gathered in tight, boom, with this nice sort of lean like that. Looks nice with the sky behind me, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Let's keep going. I think I'll just keep going through until we've done the whole thing and then we'll do it with music. I hope that works for you. Uh, right, what have we done? So let's go to the top. We've just done. We are revolting children living in revolting times. We sing revolting songs. You zing, and then you'll hear you zing revolting rhymes is the next two accents. You've gone, uh, we sing revolting songs. You zing, revol, and then again, bang your leg in here on the way through. Boom, and you hit this kind of position. So this is like plie on this left leg. Yeah, plie on this left leg. And I have this leg forward, your hand stays behind your back, and you're kind of into this sort of battle pose here, where your arm is really strong in this position, and you look over your arm. So you've just gone, uh, you zing, revolting, uh, what is it? We sing revolting songs using revolting rhymes. Yeah? And again, none of this is to counts, and I'm really sorry if you're used to working with counts, um, but all the choreo Matilda was like lyric, which really helps you because it gives you the lyric context sort of helps you with the action of it for the, the movers, singer movers among you. So just done, just mark it through. We are revolting children living in revolting times. We sing revolting songs. You zing revolting rhymes. And again, that's another slap through. Ting rhymes. Yeah, from here you've done this move already. We go, we, uh, hang on. Uh, you zing revolting rhymes. And then this will be will be, so again, just another chop chop, which is exactly the same as before. Boom, boom with your legs, boom, boom with your arms. And you really want to go cut, we want to say bam, bam. So just um, uh, using revolting rhymes, and you step this right leg out to go, will be, yeah, will be, that's right, and then you do another jump, will be revolting children, so exactly the same as before. Uh, Revolting song. You zing, revolting rhymes will be revolting children. And then from here you catch yourself, boom, like this. Uh, what's that better? Uno momento. Revolting children will be revolting children. Uh, yes, okay, I was, I was right. So, uh, after you've done um, using revolting rhymes, will be revolting children catch. Then from here, you do two sort of punches on each shoulder. So from here, it looks like this, you go boom, boom. And again, this isn't dancey, but they never wanted you to just go boom, ka, boom, ka. We don't want hip hop, we don't want curry. It's meant to look like from here, someone's gone boom, boom, like that. So this is another moment where we see, oh, we're just sick of being bullied and sick of being picked on, and then we're gonna drive forward on the next step. So with this, again, extra points, if you make this look really ugly and aggressive, it should go, boom, ka, like this, throw your head into it, yeah? Uh, so we've just done, um, revolting rhymes will be revolting children, boom, till our revolting, and then you do two strong runs, Depending on how much space you have to do them on the spot, I'm going to do them on the spot. So you just uh, boom, ba, boom, ba. Then you're going to drive this forward on your right leg first. Boom, boom. And these are like, you know, hero strides forward, really strong. So from here, boom. You let the bully punch you twice. Bam, bam. And then this is fuck you coming to get you. Yeah? Uh, so we've just done. Let's just mark it through from the top. So you'll see. You're here. We are revolting children living in revolting times. We'll sing revolting songs using revolting rhymes. We'll be revolting children. Pap to our revolting done. Here it is. Cool. So that kind of sort of makes sense. Uh, 
it also makes sense with the music too. But those lyrics are uh, C, Bolton, and B, revolting children, bang till our revolting's done. It is here. Everyone faces the back. And what you do, the shape you're gonna make to the back is bent knees here, boom. Yeah, so this is like angry kid, like you're about to like boom, 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 fight somebody. Yeah, so you've just done till our revolting's done. It is, and then you face the back, boom. I'll do it to the front and then you'll do it to the back when you run it. So the moves, you go, boom, let's fight. Then someone comes at you and you jump back. And this is, this should be like from here, like you could fall forward at any point. So it should be, fight me, whoops, fight me, whoops, right onto your toes. Like at any point, you should be able to, you should almost fall. And in the show, the stage was also raked. So sometimes you did fall. Uh, um, but you do that face in the back. So once you've done, till our revolting's done, it is 2L8 for you. So that's to the back, back, step, then to your right, boom, step. I hope the lefts and rights and stuff are correct when you're watching this. Uh, cool. Let's just go back. So we've done uh, using revolting rhymes will be Revolting children, boom, till our revolting's done. It is too well late for you, boom. Cool. I hope we're okay up to there. Uh, maybe let's try that much with the music. Hope that went well for you. Uh, if you need to run that so much, that much again, just go back, run it again a couple of times. Um, cool. I'm gonna keep moving. Um, but yeah, if you need to go back, go back. But I'll keep moving through. Then once I've finished it, we'll run all of it. Uh, and then, like I said, once I've done that and you've seen me do it, you just go back and forth as many times as you need. Cool. ISO is making me. Not as fit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, cool. So we've just done uh, till our revolting's done. It is too well late for you. Cool. So this is the point where in the show you would take your jacket off, right? So you've just done boom, ka, boom, ka. Just play that for me. You kind of want to just go like whip the school jacket off as like a again another powerful sort of protest moment of. I don't want to wear this no more, yeah? So, it's too loud for you. We are, so you take this jacket off. Cool. So, again, you don't have your jacket, so just pretend. So you take your jacket off, right? For the sake of this, just face down stage. Jacket off from here. What you want to do is you're kind of going to throw the jacket like this, right? Pass it around your back and end and again in this sort of position. So it'll end up in your right hand if you use one. So you've just done, it is too well late for you. We are revolting children. From here, throw it towards your left shoulder and you want to do a massive back bend. It should look like this. Like that, boom. Right, show that again. And in the show, like when you watch the video later, when all the kids and all the adults are like swinging their jackets, looks insane. Uh, on. It is too loud for you. We are revolting children. Boom. And here. Right? So again, don't worry too much about the choreography because it's hard without the jacket. But just imagine this is like a B. If I'm doing it closer this way. Sort of bend like that. The jacket's in the air. Passing it around your back. Left hand, right hand. Finish in this lunge position. Facing stage left. Yes? So you've gone. Boom down to here. Then, again, we'd all be running in circles at this point, but just for the sake of this, do it on the spot. So from here, you're going to do... Uh... Okay, so you do three runs and then feet together from here. 
swinging your jacket in the air with your right hand. So from here, it's one, two, three, four. Yeah? And again, with these, to your spare hand, you just want a fist and use a fist with your right hand because that's the one your jacket's in. And again, with this, we never want to see Cory. This should be like, foom, foom, aggressive, powerful protest. Uh, you can start into two, well, make four, Q, three, R, bum, 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 and down. One, two, three, and, and one, and two, and three, and four. I think it's four. Yeah, it's four. And they're all on the offbeat, so it should go one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four. And again, you want to pick these knees up as high as you can. They were really uh, hard on us with that because the young kids all had incredible energy because they're all 10. And you as an adult had to match that every night. It's like they do two shows a week, you're on show number eight, but they were like, pick those knees up, make it nice and energetic. So, uh, once you're taking your jacket off, swing it around to here. We're here. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and two, and four. From here, again, if you had your jacket, but pass your jacket into your left hand, do another one of our wee jumps. So from here you go, boom, here. Yes. And again, you have to land it beautifully because you're about to do something else. So you've just done, let me try to remember the lyric. Uh, Revolting songs using revolting rhymes will be revolting children. Bam! So on um, will be revolting children. Stop. You want to uh, from here, push here, put your jacket over your shoulder, and then you continue to wear it like a cape. Yeah? We're almost there. This is the end where we kind of all charge forward like superheroes. So you've just done. Uh, from the end of this, two, well, I'll make four, you, we are jacket off and go. One, two, three, here. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Swing up round your back. Uh, I don't know if I said that earlier, but when you bring your jacket around as you cape, feet together. Yeah? Almost there. Uh, so you've just done one, two, three, Four and one and two and three and four. Swing up round your back. One, two, three, four, five. Chuck your jacket on the ground. We're almost there. We're about to hit the final pose. So again, the jacket on the ground is sort of another, in amongst all of it so far, defiant moment of like, no, we're done. Yeah? So you've just done sing revolting songs. We sing revolting rhymes will be revolting children till our revolt is done yes and this is to the lyric you go it is two left arm up it is two and then you kind of head roll through yeah so it is two l8 and then in other words for you for you yeah and think of these as like really quick bites of like sneaky child yes for here i am whoop here i am yes so you've just done uh, you've got your jacket. Um, Till our revolting's done, it is too late for you. And then on, we are revolting, hit a really strong pose. So at this point in my plot, I lifted uh, the Bruce up on my shoulder. Some girls were like back to back like this. Some people were on the floor like bleh, pulling faces. You do what you like. Just make it strong and grounded in your final position. And like I said, Unofficial finale to Matilda, so make it big. So you've just done, uh, till our revolting's done, it is too late for you, we are revolting. Cool? That's all I'm going to teach you, that's kind of it, that's all the adults really do. I just haven't taught you the run on because logistically that would be a nightmare. Um, so let's just mark it all through from the top again and then we'll maybe run it without music once or twice and then I'll run it with the music, and then you can just have a good time with it. So, we're starting here, we'll just mark it through from the beginning once, or twice, or three times, see how I go. <laughs> uh, so from here, you'll hear, we are revolting children living in revolting times. We sing 
revolting songs using revolting rhymes will be revolting children till our revolting's done. It is too late for you. We are jacket off. One, two, three, here. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Swing up around here till our revolting's done. It is too late for you. We are revolting. Cool. I said mark here and then I kind of just did it. <laughs> Let's uh, do it again, maybe at that tempo. And then I might do it with the music. And then maybe that'll be it. And then you can go away and practice. So let's do that again one more time. Uh, I might do, do it super slow. We'll go through the shapes one more time. See you gone. Uh, we are revolting on your right foot. Children living in revolting times. We sing revolting songs using revolting rhymes. We'll be revolting children. Pa! And two punches till our revolting's done. It is too late for you. Jacket comes off. Swing to and here. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Swing it up, make your cape. One, two, throw it on the ground. Two, L, eight, four, you, we are revolting. Cool. Uh, this would probably be one of the points where I would ask if you had questions. Um, but if you've missed anything just yet, yeah, maybe go back. Just little detail things. Uh, we want to see this really strong fighting pose. Eyes forward, strong arms back like this. You kind of want to have your palms up to the ceiling or to the sky. And from here, they're really pressing like this. Yeah, forward, boom. From here, step on your right leg, make this a really dramatic, boom. We want to see a big swing with the arms and back down. Yeah, see if it's done. Uh, children living in revolting times we sing and again don't make this pretty either this isn't meant to be boom boom this is bang they wanted like round back like this sort of shoulders up really strong through your arms bam bam yeah angry this is like get fucked yeah uh children living in revolting times we sing this is your breath moment. Everything else has been very aggressive, staccato and sharp. This is your breath. Yes, this shape, you step on your right leg and bring your left foot in. Bam, here. You kind of want to have that lean, so it's just boom, bang. Yes. What's uh, the lyric on that? Revolting songs using revolting rhymes. Yes, so that's your right leg forward. Hands still behind your back. Boom, into this fighting position. Uh, then two chops again. Will be revolting children. Bam! Till our revolting's done. And this is like right, left. Right, left, right, left. Sorry, I have it left, right from here. My bad. Boom, ba, boom, ba. This is left, right, right, left. And really drive those forward. Till our revolt. Ting and those hands really driving forward, really coming to get you, yeah? Uh, till our revolting's done, it is too out for you. We are, jacket comes off, swing left shoulder here. One, two, three, and up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Swing it up, make your cape run, run, boom. It, to L8 for you, we are revolting. Cool. I might run it with the music so you can see it, and then I will hopefully include a video of the cast doing it so you can see what it looks like uh, in situ with a full company around you. Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs>
go back, watch it, maybe go back a bit through the video to get those little detail things again. Uh, watch the video of the cast, so then you can kind of get an idea too of what it looks like all together, but also the aggression, yeah? All those moments like, boom, here, these hands forward, like this, these shapes, everything is attacking, fighting. The whole number is meant to be like a big fight, yeah? Uh, literally before Bruce starts singing, Trunchbull runs off in fear. So this is like, a, we did it and this is how we did it, by being the revolting awful children they think we are, kind of thing. It's a good time. Uh, also, as a note, as your music theatre students, that you would be singing the entire time also. Uh, and if you're on tenor one like I was, uh, took us. Uh, but uh, you'd be singing as well. And then after you've done all that, and you should be really, really puffed. Um, if you're putting all the tension in every single move and all of this, and the boom, cut, if you're really pushing it the way you're meant to, uh, you should be really buggered. Uh, and they never, there was never a note you would get that they would tell you you took it too far. It was always more, grr, more uh, passion, more energy, more aggression, more attack, as much as you can. Uh, cool, so yeah, make sure you just take that to the nth degree with it. Uh, and also have fun with it, because it's possibly one of the best moments in the show. And every time I would do it, I would well up, I would want to cry, because there was something beautiful about the whole idea of the song and the idea of the show of overcoming bullies and standing up to them and you know finding strength within yourself you didn't know you had so there's joy in that as well uh cool i think that's enough detail have a good time with it uh i hope you enjoyed doing this with me and uh hopefully i can teach you all in person someday so yes thank you very much and go be as revolting as you can <laughs> all right thanks so much